<laughs> Three, <laughs> two, yeah. one. I forgot to do a, a sound check. Let's go ahead and do that live right, right now. <laughs> All right, Milana. I'm here. Right. <laughs> Bale. Bale's alive. Uh, Birdie. Birdie Cage. And Sir Nunos. <laughs> Say that again, uh, Sir Nudos. I am ready for an adventure. Cool. Oh, All right. This is the most normal Sir Nudos has sounded. <laughs> I mean, the word sir is in his name. There. It's not sir. Okay. That's, it's true. His name isn't Sir Nudos. It's Sir Nudos. <laughs> We've just been very formal this whole show. <laughs> and uh, welcome, everyone, to our Dungeons & Dragons adventure. It's called that because, despite it being a very long series, we've never come up with a name, and we never will. Yeah, we're terrible we're at We're just going to keep it stuff, this way. So, we just don't. <laughs> so the day, we, if we ever have merch, well, it's going to be interesting. Generic D&D game. It's ju yeah, just D&D. <laughs> the like, game. I think <laughs> Parentheses, insert name here. <laughs> <laughs> so the kind of I really with... think that should be our name. Insert name here. <laughs> so fun news for everyone in the audience. Um, this is going to be the final episode of the first I mean, season. Is that fun news? This is the final episode. Aww. Of the first season. Yay! Yay! Hooray! It's we're, a season. Well, we could probably, after this episode, we're going to probably play with new characters, but we're going to finish up this story tonight as fast as possible um, <laughs> because we don't want to play for like 10 hours and one of us just got their second shot. Ooh. 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 It might be a fun ending to tonight. <laughs> Milana, what do you do? Sure, <laughs> Matt. All right. So, uh, recap of last time. Uh, you collected the final two gems, the Earth and the Wind Crystal. I called them gems, they're crystals, whatever. Um, Same thing. Now that you've collected all of them, the still eerie presence of hell opening its doors. Uh, as you leave, now we're in real time, as you leave uh, the, uh, the air temple, Zidon, the gold dragon, presents to you. There is somewhere we must go before you take on the wizard. Ah, where are we going? My father would love to have a word with you. Oh, wait, isn't he that, that god dragon? Yes. Raw? Uh, no, that's, the, that's uh, the dragon of Egypt. Flyford? That is a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Bahamut? <laughs> there you go. Oh. That one. That one. Okay. All right. He uh he he bends down to have all of you jump on his back as he wants you all to fly uh, on his back as he's been doing for the past few episodes. I climb aboard and lounge upon his back. All right. But would he let me? Crawl up his neck to sit between his horns. Give me a persuasion. Oh, good. Because I'm so good at that. Uh, wait, persuasion? That's a 10. All right. Give me an Thanks. average uh, persuasion. Persuade me, like, very averagely. I think you should let me ride between the horns. Like, I'm redoing that whole, you know, that great play of Titanic. I want to be king of the world. <laughs> what did I roll? What's Titanic? <laughs> that, that really good play that just goes forever and then everyone dies in ice. I thought that, that's the dinosaurs died. Yeah, yeah, there were dinosaurs involved. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. ABC's dinosaurs. The one with the puppets. Um, he highly advises against it. Uh, if you do sit there, he does ask you not to pull on his horns, for he will not have control. Okay, I won't. I go sit in the. I go sit next to Cernanos. 
<laughs> Pixie. All right. Milana, we will indeed traverse the skies and enjoy it as kings in our hearts and queens. You two enjoy being royalty. I'm just going to take a nap right here. <laughs> All right. Oh, and thank you for the follow to Nerdy Drunken Monkey Goblin. Oh, that is a great an name. awesome name. Whoever Nerdy you are. Drunken Monkey Goblin? Yep. Nerdy oh. Drunken Monkey Goblin. Crazy enough, that's my idea for my next character. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? All right. Then that was not a confession about anything else. Um, <laughs> not at all. So uh, you start to go flying. You're going over some familiar kingdoms and familiar places. And you head back to, well, the first kingdom you went to. Does anyone have an idea where that is? Is that Coastone yes. or something like that? No. No, is it? Coastone was the second one. It's, Coastone, um, okay, hold on. It I have the notes here. I have it here somewhere. Where's I'm that? totally not asking because I forgot. So good news. I have notes. The bad news is um, I don't know where the notebook is. Uh, <laughs> I didn't put it down on that one. Hold on. Session number two. It's uh, King Greg Hasselhoff. Yeah, yep. Grewin Kozov is the king. Good. Did I really not put down the name of this kingdom? <laughs> Richard? Oh my God! Oh, Bale Minister. Bale Minister. That's what it's called. Bale Minister. That's close. Uh, Zidane the dragon I, flies. I had the notes. I found them. <laughs> <laughs> We're all rolling through our notes. I got it somewhere. See, this is why. The no, next, I had to go find the notes. <laughs> the next series of campaigns we do are going to be short. <laughs> They're going to be shorter we, campaigns, we but with the we, same. We also need to reach it to seventy-five follows, so Efren starts taking notes as well. Yeah, uh, yeah. sir, that yeah, is a hundred. Please get it to seventy-five. Sorry, Are you telling me my single oh, page of beer-stained paper is not enough for a, a, a whole campaign's worth of notes? It's true. Unfortunately, apparently not. That, does it just keep getting like longer and more beer-stained? Well. It was it was port beer, so it, it was dark from the beginning. Now yeah. I'll forgive you if there's also honey glazed ham on that page, since you did make a ham one time we were playing. It's no, true. I didn't. I I'm sure did make a ham. For those that are at home, uh, Sir Nunos has made a full ass ham <laughs> while we were playing online. It's true. Oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, we couldn't figure out why there were so many pots and pans bagging, and then it's like, oh. Was this the night that I missed? Because I don't remember this. No, this is before you. This is before you. This is before okay. you. This is before I started playing. I'm like, I think I would have remembered this. That is. <laughs> it was our first it was campaign a together. Campaign. It was delicious, and I ate it for a week. I would hope so. A ham is huge. We're also very sidetracked right now, but I do gotta say, yeah. didn't we give you shit for how you made ramen? <laughs> Um, me or her? You. Uh, maybe. I make ramen a lot. No, I made the ramen. I was got, I I got shit on the ramen. No, we made fun there. of you for you burning the cookies. That's oh, right. God, that's right. No, wait. She burned the bottom of the cookies, but didn't even and cook the top of the cookie. I undercooked the top and burnt the bottom. <laughs> it was oh, so oh. Divine intervention. Back on the story. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you're back in the kingdom of Bale Minister. Waiting atop of the castle is what you named King Hasselhoff. And Great Hasselhoff. The Witch Hasselhoff. Motoya. The gnomes from Coast Stone. The Elven yeah. Prince. As they all gather around. You make your landing. And they all take a knee. Zadon so takes a knee. And he suggests... You take a knee as well. I take two knees. Okay. But wouldn't I bow. it be painful for someone if we take their knees? Alana just bow. Ah, oh, that one. <laughs> I bow. So the sunny day all of a sudden goes a shade, goes into a shade. The whole kingdom is covered in darkness. Oh, it's an you, eclipse. You hear a mighty dragon's roar. Flying above you 
is a massive ancient dragon. Older than ancient dragons. This thing eclipses the whole sky where you can't even see the clouds. You can't even see the blue sky. You can't even see the sun trying to shine down. Landing in the middle of the castle, Zidane looks at you, looks at the dragon. It is great to see you, father. Friends, here is my father, the mighty Bahamut. He, he looks around. Oh, no, no. He, he, okay. he puts his paw up at you and kind of like, mm, that's okay. We don't do that here. You're <laughs> he looks at the innocent child who called him pretty and looks at the hand, puts his hand out right where you're standing. Hop on aboard, little one. Oh, I hop on. He brings you closer to his face. So you wield the gauntlets. Uh-huh. You four are the chosen. As much as we can do to prevent the gates of hell opening, we've only delayed the inevitable. Whatever is to come on the other side, you must be ready and prepared. Our mission is simple. You must take out the wizard in his tower. Not only that, if the gates open and Chaos has summoned himself on the other side and his armies, you must be prepared to fight. Oh, he puts you back down. Warriors, you've done great deeds. I have heard from all the Guardians that you are definitely worthy. I present to you some gifts. Ooh. Looks at Bale. I sense a mighty sword you have. Without looking up <clears throat> sorry I'll <laughs> Benadryl would help my... that young one <laughs> can't cough in a coma <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the sword from my back and I'll just place it on the ground before me yes mighty god I took this blade from the dark side of myself and was told to bring it to you the darkness inside you is gone. You have been risen like the phoenix itself. He puts his hand on the sword, scoops it up and gives it back to you. Rise for the Holy Avenger. You oh. have the Holy Avenger sword. Oh, damn. Uh, long sword or great sword? Uh, your choice. Uh, looks at Birdie Cage. Oh, <laughs> huh. Interesting. Lots of vanity, but a mighty warrior. Yeah, that's me. I, he, I gives you, out. he puts his fist out, kind of like a little fist bump. Oh, dope. I, I bump back. Oh, so, I, I also flash my, my gold chain that says Birdie fucking Cage. He fist bumps you, <laughs> and your little... Uh, the little rings that spell out Birdie Cage yeah. transforms your arm into this metal this metal type of weapon. It counts as a great sword or a great axe, whatever you're using. What are you using? Oh, axe. Oh, great axe, yeah. Uh, each attack does plus three. Uh, uh, oh. Plus three to hit and plus three to damage. I created this one specifically for you. Uh, okay. Now, no. here's the thing. Whenever you crit or kill an enemy, it leaves behind a mark that says birdie motherfucking cage. No, 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 no. That's not what I said. I said it leaves behind a mark that says you've just been caged. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. This is the greatest gift I've ever gotten. So like uh, if you've ever watched Mortal Kombat or played Mortal Kombat, it's like Jax where he has the metal arms. Essentially, that's what you have. So you can have arms that does essentially what a great axe does, but it's plus three. Oh, oh my god. god. You, you have, have arms. In my life. This is, like, better than the day I found out about my arms. <laughs> like, I, I'm crying in the club right now. <laughs> All right. Jesus. 
He looks at um he looks at Sir Nunos, young satyr, master <gasps> of wizardry and cleric. I present to you this. Please, can I see that immovable rod you have? Uh, Birdie has it. Oh, that's, I do, I do have it. I, I, yeah, you can, you can have the rod. He, the rod. he squishes yeah. it and presents it to Sir Nunos. I present to you, mighty cleric, the rod of resurrection. Oh, does it resurrect infinite times as many times? Can I bring everyone back to life? Oh, well, hold on there, young one. Everyone you get from history? Five charges. Oh! One okay. charge expended. Get, make, you can cast heal. Yes. Using all five, you can cast resurrection. Yeah. Oh my, that's amazing. You regain one expended charge a day. But if you use them all up, in, in some world, if you rolled a natural one, the rod will disappear. No. Unfortunately, even godly items don't have unlimited power, but I sense this is something you could definitely use. I think that I can use it to great advantage and to further our quest. And for you, little kneecapper, <laughs> he uh, <laughs> breaks off a scale, crushes it, and gives it to you. I call it a gnome thrower. It's really known as a <laughs> Dwarven Thrower. Essentially, it's a plus three weapon that you can... It's like Thor's hammer. You can throw it, then it comes back to you. I have Mjolnir. <laughs> Essentially, yes. <laughs> it's a, a, <laughs> if you have the DMG, it's under Dwarven Thrower. So that's what it is. And looks at the... Oh, he looks friend. at Pixie. Ah, interesting little fella. Taps Pixie. I hold Pixie up. Taps Pixie. Pixie's wings get a little bigger, and its back has like a little Yoshi saddle. Wait, wait. Wings? Yep. Oh my god. When did Pixie get wings? It was when you got knocked out. Remember, Pixie had a, a motivational speech when you got knocked out. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Cute. Epic <laughs> anime music. Yeah, wings. <laughs> so now, Pixie can fly at your speed. Essentially, for aesthetic reasons, you can just move as Pixie on top of Pixie. And it has that, like, red Yoshi saddle. Sweet. Nice. Sweet. Dwarven thrower. And Pixie is now Yoshi. Oh, quickly. The task ahead is not an easy one. You must head to the wizard's tower. Defeat whatever is in there. And be prepared when the gates of hell have opened. Hear my words, young ones. We'll do our best. <laughs> we shall definitely force our way into the, the, the tower of the wizard and destroy him as you command. Uh, can I just hug one of his claws since that's probably the only thing I can reach? Uh, you can hug his nail because it's yeah, the same that's, that's size as you. Uh, yeah, that's what I mean. The, the it's, one tiny it, tip of things. Like, that's probably all I can actually you, hug. <laughs> you barely fit on it. That's mm -hmm. how huge this thing is. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay. Like, still kill it. Best way to kind of put it in perspective. Um, here is... I don't want to open up a button. But uh, imagine oh, no. the size of a I, dime I, 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 compared to this. It's my Dragonite plush. Oh, good. Yep, yep. Got it. That's only what you can see. You mean the height of a dime, not like the circumference of it? Yeah. Nice. All right, so what do y'all do? You're all fully healed, uh, by the way. Uh, we're gonna, I'm going to take we're gonna the time go fight. to attune and make the Holy Avenger my packed weapon, for one. Divine and then, Intervention. It's done. Okay. <laughs> so I'll make sure that gets safe. I turn around and start walking in the direction I believe that the uh, tower is in. Uh, <laughs> Zidane says, Zidane I can fly you there. And, yeah, oh, Zidane, marvelous you idea. Let's fly. <laughs> Six days later. 
<laughs> Six days later, hey, the world is are. in ruins. <laughs> Sir Nunos is still walking. Uh, guys, uh, Olympus is that way. Yes. What does what is Gauntlet <laughs> do? So much shit. What was that? What does this Gauntlet do? Well, it's pretty. When the time comes, don't snap your fingers. Oh, snap you know, my fingers? Yeah. What? No. <laughs> the time will come. I cannot tell you much more. The gods forbid it. The gods above me forbid it. There's a god there above. Are gods me. above you. I uh, divine a intervention. <laughs> I pop in. Yes, there's a being even mightier than myself. <gasps> Is it your wife? I uh, I take over the, the couch. Okay. I do. It's it is my cat. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. You're yeah. imagining while you're doing this, Bahamas like shuddering in place, like oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Bahamut looks. But Bahamut bows amongst the cat. That's what I mean. I uh, when when the, the the like iota of a moment that that. I see him moving like that to bow. I just prostrate upon the ground. <laughs> okay. Me, <laughs> me, me and the cat and disappear. Perfect. Let us make our way to the tower with Zidane and our new gifts. Blessed to, blessed to us by Bahamut. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Trust so... us to end the darkness. So let's end the darkness. All right, so as you are approaching the tower, you see like a swirling, evil, like purple darkness just surrounding the tower as ritual looks like a ritual is going on. At the bottom of the tower, you see the gates of what prevents you from getting inside. It's a door, it's a double door. <laughs> it's a door, guys, it's just a double door. <laughs> is there a riddle? I love those. <laughs> do you want a riddle? Why? Why would you do this to us, Liz? You're like the kid who reminds the teacher we had homework. I like feeling smart. I don't get to do that a lot. <laughs> uh, because we suck at riddles. <laughs> to you enters. So we enter. We go yeah. in. All right. So you enter the tower. As you enter, you see a lot that that resembles the Earth sh Crystal Shrine. You see how the Earth gave life to essentially everything. The land, forests, everything very similar to what you saw in the temple. Standing in the middle, preventing you from getting up, is the Shield Guardian from the Earth Temple. What? It takes its shield and its sword... Go ahead and roll initiative. This bitch again. We already beat you once. We gotta do it again? <laughs> Some might oh. say it's a boss rush. Ooh. Oh, God. <laughs> what? Sir Nunos, have you learned how to make a different dimension that takes eight hours for us, but it's only like a minute over here? No. <laughs> <laughs> One year higher. <laughs> I love that answer. Just no. <laughs> <laughs> I want to give. Do you have an inspiration? Me? Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure I used the one you gave me for attempting to rap. He used you, his. You, I don't. I I still have mine. You oh get an God. inspiration for that. Perfect. <laughs> I honestly I believe that's how Sir Nunos would absolutely answer. <laughs> no. Pause. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> um, question because it's been a while. Inspiration is a reroll. So it's a reroll, but you have to take the new roll. Okay, that's fine. All right, twenty or higher. No, fifteen or higher. Sixteen. Ten or higher. Thirteen. Thirteen. Five or higher. Eight. Oh no. Already no. Uh, what'd you get, Birdie? I, I wasn't really feeling it today, I guess. I got three. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's only where Bale's at. <laughs> Bale, you are first. You see the shield guardian blocking you. 
But you actually see in the live one because last time you were talking to a mind flayer. Yeah, right. <laughs> Oh, that's right. You weren't with us. He, oh, you dude, know he I, wasn't. I dipped. <laughs> when he got to a, a demon, scared the crap out of a demon, found a mind flare, and was like, no. Uh, I am going to test my Holy Avenger and go to hit. All right. Natural 20. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> First sure roll. Natural one. <laughs> On the first roll of the night, All let's right. go. Give me percentile. All right. Go, bitches. 52. 52. All right. Table 26. All right. Holy Avenger. Ooh, I have to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh. Ooh. Wow, you got you got really lucky in the first one. So, you get maximum damage for your crit. Okay, so there's 12, 18 damage. Time. Is it a fiend or undead? Uh, one second. So, 12 damage in total? So, 2d6 would be 12 plus 6 is 18. Right, but 2d12 is... 2d6 is 12 times 2, yep. that's 24... Plus, Plus six, six that's 30. 30. Uh, it is a construct, so it's not a fiend door. So it is 30 damage, straight up. Nice. Right off the bat. And with your mighty slash, you hear the, uh, the angelic uh, screams from this, and it makes the shield guardian prone. Oh. The shield so guardian. does that mean I get advantage on my second hit? Yes, you do. Rolling again. Uh, 24. Oh, yeah, that hits. 2d6. Oh, I thought that was two sixes. Uh, that is 11 plus 6. 17 damage. All right. Next up, Sir Nudos. Ooh. Um, you got hit for that much. Um, I decide that I will... <laughs> I will, um... Just... I'm going to point at him, and a ray will come forth and just hopefully, anyway, cause him half damage. Um, I'm trying to remember if that is... Uh, I don't ray think he has to go for it now, but he rolls at the end of his turn. Are you talking Ray of Enfeeblement? Exactly the one! And I just found it as well. All right. Uh, there... da, 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 da. Oh, I have to make a range attack. That's what it is. Okay. I knew there was something. So that's de I'm guessing that's a hit because I rolled a 19. Oh yeah. Uh, and so that means it's going to be taking half damage as long as I continue concentrating, and then it gets to on a hit target deals only half. Um, at the end of the turn, damage. To make a Constitution check, so it'll probably pass, but whatever. All right. Next up is Milana. It's still prone on the floor. Uh... Oh, I want to rage and go smash him! Rage! <laughs> <laughs> I rage! Uh... <laughs> oh, ooh, goody, an eight. What was that again? I was about to say, <laughs> a nat 20. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> no, no, this is the D8 for figuring out what kind of magical effect happens. Uh, which eight is, oh, the bolt of light from my chest. <laughs> This is going to be fun. Uh, so uh, you have to succeed on a constitution saving throw or take 1d6 radiant damage and be blinded until my next turn. Jeez. This is going to be fun. I like this one. All so right. I'm going to come charging over. And as I do, uh, the ray of light comes and hits him. So please make a con save. All right. A whopping eight. Oh, that's not going to cover it at all. So he's gonna take one d six damage from that, and then does a twenty nine hit? God, I'm yes. Using that god. <laughs> yes, it does. Oh my god! <laughs> Apparently, I shouldn't have wasted oh my, my spells. <laughs> so he gets two radiant damage, and he's blind. All right. And then <laughs> I'm just hitting him, so I'm using two handed hit for that. Oh my god! Uh, that is. 
13 damage from that one. Oof. All right. And then the second hit to one kneecap, so I'm going for the other kneecap, even though he's prone. Does a 28 hit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, both great rolls. Uh, oh. oh, I can't wait to crush your spirits with the boss. <laughs> I know. It's going to be great. We're going to go so happy, and then we're going to be like, shit. Uh, that will be 11 damage. 11 damage. All right. And he's blind. It's his turn. He stands up. Stands up. If you want to take an attack with an opportunity, either of you. I'll take yes. it. Go for it. Wait, which one, we get, which one gets it? Either of you. Both, both, both of you. you both, both of you. Both. Okay. Both, both, both. Does a 16 hit? No. Ah! Natural one. Oh, give me percentile. <laughs> oh, you went so high and then fell so low. It's just like a... Lucifer fell from the heavens. <laughs> 39. Hey, he like was the pretty one. Lightning. I mean, aren't him and Gabriel twins? Not Gabriel, Michael. So, mm -hmm. Michael. I mean, at least in the, in the TV show they are. In the TV show they are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so in a moment of right confusion. I know. You were okay. very egotistical. Your next attack roll does not add your proficiency bonus. Ooh. Okay. As he goes ahead, and he's going to go ahead and punch you, Bale. Does he have disadvantage because he's blind? No, because he has blind sight. Oh, God. That's... <laughs> oh, I have, I have blind fighting, so. Uh, natural 20. Oof, that sucks. Ow! No, it doesn't hit at all. I think that's uh, like, that missed, man. You need a natural 30 to hit me. Oh, oh why don't I just pull out my D30? <laughs> <laughs> I do not have one, so, you know, they exist. They did, oh, I'm like, I didn't even know they existed. I think they were used for uh, second uh, edition, 2 way. D D Advanced, that's what it's called. There we go. <laughs> Eleven. All right. You need to give me a dexterity saving throw. Oh fuck. Oh god. Okay. That's an eighteen. Okay, you're fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> because <laughs> that would have did damage to your armor. But it did not. So you're gonna go ahead and take twenty-eight damage. And its second attack is going to go to Milana. Ah. 18 to hit. Son of a bitch! <laughs> yeah, that hits. All right. Uh, 14 damage. So seven. All right, next up. Oh, I really felt that. <laughs> Birdie. That's me. I'm Birdie, and I'm ready. Okay, uh... I am I'm very inspired by my new arm gloves. I'ma use them. I'm a punch. I'm gonna be like one, two. Use Go for pop, it. Pop. Yeah. Uh, so the oh my god, it's a nat twenty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right off the bat. Go for it. Just been caged. Um, I don't know. What do I have to do? Roll me percentile. Oh shit. I gotta find percentile dice. This is the hard thing about using actual dice. I'm going to use you. Oh my god, Liz. Just use. 85. Oh, wow. That's pretty good. He instantly explode his stone form. <laughs> uh, am right. I supposed to punch in the words? You've been caged. Oh my goodness. Caged, baby. Oh my goodness. All right. So you're going to get maximum damage from that attack. So do that damage first. Is the damage roll the damage or just tell you what the damage would be? So I, it's a d12, right? Yeah. What's your strength? Oh, plus five. <laughs> I'm at 20. So that's 12, 17. 24. Uh, 39. Plus 29, five sorry. is 29. Plus three because of your weapon. 32 damage. Mm -hmm. Woo. Jeez. And oh God. bird I have ever seen. Now here's the fun part. I'm a bitchin' bird. 
Yeah. Yes, you are. Um, because his AC drops nine points from how oh. powerful your strike was. And right down the chest, it reads, you've just been caged. Boom. You still That's got like what? Two more attacks? Oh, I I only get two attacks per turn, but that one was good. I got one more attack. Let's see. This dice works real well, so we're gonna use it again. Are you shitting me? Take a second now for twenty. Take a Do picture. not say. Oh my god. Photo. Photo evidence. Picking it up does not prove anything. <laughs> that doesn't prove anything. Like what it says. That doesn't prove anything. No, I'm gonna give her the nat twenty. That makes sense. Uh, you know what? That's another thirty-two damage. Uh, let's read. How much HP does he have? You know what? He's dead. I want you to explain to me how you destroy this thing. Oh, fucking okay. Right. So, Birdie. That's me. I'm Birdie by talking to third person. Birdie decides to just fucking go crazy. And she just starts punching to get as many you've just been caged into this construct. <laughs> And she just starts yelling, I'm a construct, a debt in your face, and just keeps going. <laughs> All right. Uh, as you you keep pun you punch this so hard, the whole body crumbles. There's nothing but dust left. As you walk by and your wings kind of flap, all that remains is the word caged. Nice. <clears throat> And I've wasted all the nat 20s for the night. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Probably. Behind you. Okay, so Nunos and I are due to have one now. The stairs are now available. Nice. Before oh, we go up the stairs, uh, <clears throat> Egan, did you take half damage? Basically, yeah. I got hit pretty damn hard. I was going to No, I'm three. saying, did you take half damage from that attack? Because oh, I was that's right. a so prey to half the damage. Oh, I did not. No, I took full damage. There we go. So, get back half of what I gave you. Alright, that's 30 minus 2 is 18, so plus 18 to that puts me at 74. That doesn't make sense. Hold on. How much did I hit you with? 2d6 plus 2. So 24, 29. 84 to 56. Oh, I, thought, I thought I heard something like 36. No. 36 damage. Thir was it 36 damage? No, 38 damage. So then get back 19. Yeah. Makes more sense. Okay. I'm going to pop one of my potions of healing real quick. I Three. hop on Pixie to run. Efren, thank you for letting me remember that after the battle. All right. Because <laughs> I forgot. Mm -hmm. Because I don't want to get rid of all of them. It's okay. Two. We're too enthralled with Liz's two natural twenties. If this happens, I always get like a some kind of like thirteen, and I gotta add all my strength points to it. I didn't even get touched. I'm back to full health. <laughs> Woo, thank God for that half damage. I only got seven damage out of my hundred and thirty-six. I actually rolled two fours on my two d four. We're getting some good rolls tonight, guys. We are. We've I wasted think we all our good rolls. We need the actual yeah. boss. Yeah, we're wasting all of our good rolls right now. This is going to suck when we get to the actual boss. <laughs> we're going to oh, all of three. I have a question, Efren, real quick. Yes. The Dwarven Thrower. Since I can use it as a ranged attack, that would, would go with, since it's a Warhammer, it'd go with the D8 then, right? Yes. Because I can't use I can't throw it two, two handed. I <laughs> can't put. That is true. So. I just need to make sure of that before I do something, because usually I use a Warhammer two-handed. Mm -hmm. And I know your thing says melee. I'm gonna go ahead and allow you to, like, I'm gonna go ahead and allow you to keep your rage if you throw this, or get your rage bonuses with this. Only because, okay, you know, or flavor text it. So yeah. All right, I mean, shall we continue? I have so much fun. Okay, shall we continue? Mama knows. I am ready. Stairs, 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 stairs. All right. As you I observe the stairs as we walk up. Is there anything crazy going on with the 19? 
uh, you start to know that it went from it's changing into a different um, what's it called dimension not dimension but environment no longer oh, okay. is hey. it uh, no longer is it the earth temple but now remnants of the fire temple are starting to Ooh. approach you see the temple. mighty warriors all of them who have been created from pure um, the pure heat of the fires you see the positive masculinity and health benefits of all these people who are super jacked yet giving each other a thumbs up <laughs> uh, and as you get it you come to an area that stops across the room is another flight of stairs but is surrounded by magma and as the magma is sitting there rises a young red dragon Oh, roll! I switch out. I switch out my my new hammer for the dragon smasher. <laughs> All right, there it is. It gets extra damage against a dragon. There's there's the roll I expected for initiative to begin with. <laughs> Was it two? Exactly. Twenty really? or higher. <laughs> it's a two. Twenty, but not natural. Okay. Fifteen or higher. 10 or higher. 14. Ten. And that just leaves. Fail. Keegan. I got a two. Birdie, you are up. <laughs> we swapped places. <laughs> You're amped up and juiced from the last time. I'm freaking, I'm ready to go. I just beat the shit out of that dude. And I'm ready to do the same thing to this baby dragon. So <laughs> baby dragon. I to say that. Okay. So anyway, I'm gonna punch it. Okay, You're go for punch it. The baby. With my cool gloves. I'm gonna roll real low. Are we ready for this? Oh, I did. Okay, that plus nine plus three is twenty-two. Twenty-two hits. Dope. Okay, and then we get a d12. So much harder when they're actual dice. Okay. Oh. oh my god. Just you can do math, Liz. I know you're smart enough. You were an accountant. Exactly. You were smart. Well, I dropped that real quick. Um. Uh, D12 plus five plus three. Eight. Five, five plus eight is thirteen. And then um, it's taking me a while. Hold on a second. Attack is a same. It's twenty-two. Both hit. Oh, wonderful. And then that one is eight. Oh, shit. Let's see, a nine. Twelve and nine. Twelve and nine. So 21 oh. damage. 21 damage. All right. Cool. It is the dragon's turn. Oh, shit. Uh -oh. It's going to go ahead and start off with a bite. Okay. A 29 to hit. I know you're not hitting me. On who? Uh, Birdie. Whoa, shit. Yeah, yeah, probably. you're getting hit. Yeah, okay, that probably hits. Yeah. All right. You're going to take 17 piercing and 2 fire. Oh, oh. So, 19 damage. Then, he takes out his fist... And claws at you. He doesn't even have arms. Yes, he does. He's a he's a dragon, not a T Rex. Or a dragon. Do dragons have arms too? They can. He's he's more European more... dragon. I have I have learned so much in this game. <laughs> uh, twenty four to hit. That. Yeah, that one hits too. Eighteen damage. Right. Uh, twenty oh. to hit. Again? Yeah. How many arms do you have? Yeah. He has exactly. three attacks. <laughs> How many arms do you have, Liz? He has two arms and a mouth. Technically speaking, dragons have four limbs that are more akin to legs than arms. Yeah, but we don't like technicalities. And you take ten damage. <laughs> Next up is Sir Nunos. Oh, um. Liz, how 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 hurt did you get there? 
I, I, I'm at 50, 50, 47. I'm at 47 damage. I mean, not damage, health. Out of? Oh, 94. <laughs> All right, so uh, here is what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to cast a spell, and uh, I'm going to... Sarah Nunos is going to wave his arms around a whole bunch, and then he's going to point, and then... Nobody's going to see anything happen unless they can see an invisible thing. And then maybe they can. Oh. And that's no, I can't see invisible stuff. You're invisible? All right. Invisible. I cast a spell that might have placed an invisible something somewhere. Ooh. Oh. Okay. I think I know what you're talking about. Milana, yeah. you're next. Oh. I run straight at the dragon with my dragon smasher hammer. And I hit it twice. Uh, once for a 23. That hits. And oh, oh baby. Uh oh, what'd you get? Natural a 20. 20. A natural 20. All right, do your normal damage first. Okay, the normal damage for, oh wait, it's a dragon. Yes, it is. So I get 3d6 extra, baby. You, you do extra against dragons? Yeah, this uh, dragon smashing hammer I got from Efren. Okay, fair. Yeah, it says uh, 3d6 extra for a dragon. <laughs> Back in our filler episode. <laughs> oh, that's right. It was the filler episode. So that is a... That's, t that's 10... Plus eleven, so twenty-one and a six. So that is twenty-seven damage Oof, from the first nice. attack. Now go and uh, roll me now. percentile first. That's a thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. Right, bitch. 38. Yes. All right, and you got bludgeoning. Yeah, Oof. bludgeoning. So, uh, oh my goodness. I need to see if this happens first. How oh, it happens? I think it's a dragon. Uh, let's see. What did I do? Okay, he makes that save. And it, I, I smash his toenails. It would have knocked him unconscious, but he passed his con save. <gasps> However, so what? You're using D10? A D10, because I'm using it two-handed. You get the first D10 full. So 10. Then you get to roll two more D10, because you're doing oh. triple damage. Oh, baby. <laughs> that is... Oh, shit. That also counts for the D6s. Oh, oh my shit. God. Oh, no. Oh. So that's, that's triple so damage really for D6. <laughs> so you got your first D10 and your... First set of 3d6s. So you got 18 uh, right there. So that's 18 plus, plus whatever you rolled. The 10. Oh god, there's so much. It's a lot of math. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a lot of math. I'm just writing them down and then I'll give you a number. And I get to roll the 3d6s two more times. Along with the d10s. Oh. I already rolled. The, I already rolled the defense. So I got this them a down. Crit? This yeah, was a crit. I crit. Yeah. The second hit. Cool. <laughs> oh my god. Um, da, 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 da. This math has been brought to you by the bag of holding. The bag of holding. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm reaching the point where it's bigger numbers. And everyone's favorite game, Sphere of Annihilation. That is so 63 damage. 60. Oh, jeez. Um, 63. Wow, he is not looking good after that hit. Uh, for, for the first hit, can it bring his... It knocks him so his head comes down and then it just the second hit smashing right into his face. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> it's just like I got him right in the toe, which caused him to go, oh my god! So then I smash him right in the face. <laughs> Hundo69420. Good luck on your boss fight. Thank you, Hundo. Our one of our loyal fans. 
Uh, so yeah, you go ahead, you smash it in the knee, then you smash it on top of its head. <laughs> it's still fighting, but it took a lot of damage from that. Next up is Bale. You just saw this dragon take a lot of damage. You just saw the tiny gnome <laughs> put so much damage into this big dragon. You just saw a big dragon. And a big dragon. Alana, I think you made him very angry. Oh, no! I make him angry. It's okay. So I'm going to go for my hit with my Holy Avenger. Whew. 20 to hit, not natural. Okay, that hits. <laughs> 13. No, Thank God, that wasn't a fucking one. To get a 20. 13 does not hit. All right, so 2d6 plus 6 is 7. 13 damage. All right. Uh, bonus action. Ooh. Well, uh, I don't want to do that. Yeah, because it would be short rest. I'm going to spiritual weapon and pop it up right in front of him. Nice. And that's going to be natural. <laughs> Dear Send God. Send a spiritual weapon. It'll just get uh, the first D whatever. I think it was a D8. D8, yeah. The so first D8, D8, just roll another D8 with it. Plus your spell <laughs> okay, modifier. Cool. Eight. Thank God. Another eight. Nine plus four. <laughs> Thirteen damage. Thirteen damage. All right. Mark up as pass. <laughs> that, that's it for me. I'm out. That was a devastating first round. Uh, Birdie, back to you. Birdie oh, game. God, that still was only the first round. That was that was only the first round, and it <laughs> Milana pretty much knocked it more than half away. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty pissed at it for like doing any damage to me. I'm not gonna lie. Um, that was a dick move. Um, even though I attacked it first, I'm pretty mad. So, um, I'm going to attack. I don't know why it took me so long to say attack, but I I am. Uh oh my god. So I'm gonna take a picture for you because you're never gonna believe this. Oh, God damn it. Did you get a natural 20? She got a natural 30. She got it's a natural 25, actually. No, it's a natural 20, but I'm just sending it to the group. <laughs> it's the purple dice. All right. I, mean, uh, I can't say much. I've got as many nat 20s as you have. No, go, ahead, go ahead and do your uh, percentile for this one. Jesus. Oh, my God. This is a blessed episode. Like, I don't know what's been happening, but, like, somebody... Dear, dear God. A 78. So... Are those the dice that Bentley gave you? The purple ones? No, those are mine. That's my first... Okay. Here, this whole time, your dice roll better than your app. Yeah, why haven't you been using the dice? Come because on. Because the app does the math for me? <laughs> But Liz, look how many natural 20s you rolled with your dice. All it's right. because they're glad to be back in action, I think. <laughs> so you go ahead and get max damage. So that's 24 plus... What's your strength modifier? Mm, uh, I have a f five. Five plus eight. So 32 damage. Jesus. Yeah. And then my, my second attack... That goes there, and that goes there. Okay. Oh no, I'm gonna use this dice. Hold on. It's been it's been blessed for me today. <laughs> You're never gonna believe this. It's a nat 14. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it's a nat what's that 26. 26. 26. You know I'm gonna be doing an episode on the D and D Hall of Fame. Birdie this motherfucking one. cage. Birdie motherfucking cage. So, um. You're mad that this thing d did you wrong in the first round. You you punch haymakers. You do all these combos. Do a splits. Punch them in the stomach. Come back up. Uppercut. And as it goes up into the sky, it dives head first back into the magma. As the corpse rises, all you see 
is the word caged. <laughs> Should. Oh, you did some really good killing blows over here. Birdie cage. I, I want to go up to Birdie and give Birdie a high five. Hell yeah. Net 20. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I want to do that. You, poop, you, you poop the bear and you get the cage. Did you just say you poop the bear? Yeah. No! You poop, poop the, the bear. Okay. No, now this is what I like better. I poop but the I bear. I like pooping bears too. Yes. All right. I pooped three bears in one sitting. It was a marvelous time. I could tell you all about it sometime if you'd like. Oh, yeah. Hell Let yeah. us continue, though. We've got a wizard to kill. The, the magma hardens, making a walkable path to the new flight of stairs. Uh, skip across. Continue quickly. I would like to keep my spiritual weapon for the next fight, if possible. <laughs> How long okay. does it last? You. It's a minute. No, it ain't gonna last. Oh, damn it. <laughs> yeah, that's why I didn't rage for the second one. I was like, ah, oh, we got a dragon? I got a dragon smasher. I don't need to rage. <laughs> the room's starting to get noticeably cooler. Oh, no. It's starting to get... You notice that it feels like you're back in the caves here in the ocean. Uh, the, the ocean and its waves, very calming, yet very dangerous at the same time. Every now and then, you'll see a crab with a xylophone going do 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 uh, Is it Sebastian? Um, no, maybe. it's not for legal reasons. <laughs> for legal reasons, neither is it shining. Um, no. You're welcome. Anyways. I hate that song. <laughs> oh, I love hate... that song. Wait, which song? I love that song. The, the shy, shy one. The shining? The shining I don't I, like that how song. How dare you? I like the song. I just uh, I don't feel it belongs in. Uh, I was about to say Moana. Uh, Moana. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely doesn't belong in Moana. That don't either. finish that sentence. <laughs> Too late. It's finished. <laughs> Too late. It's it's there. It's recorded. Uh, I love that song. I it's a good song. It. I like it. It's really good. It's a good song. It doesn't belong in Moana. Oh God. I'm... <laughs> Oh, Lana are very closely sounding names. Oh, I look. think we're helping. Bale has Sierra just been muted. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, I think it belongs just fine. It's a great song. I like it. Um, uh, you go into the room, it kind is. of similar to the um, fire room, where there's like a like a little area of water that's just sitting there. You look around, you notice that all the murals and paintings are uh, are of... I realize you said murals, but it sounded like mules. <laughs> yes, there's a donkey every now and then. Uh, oh, okay. You forgot about donkey. You left I me here. I stop and play chess. Uh, it remembers how peace, destruction, calm, roaring, as the water starts to ripple up, oh, no. rises a creature you fought before, the, the water. Marid, the water boss. Roll initiative. Oh, that's better. All right. 20 22. All right. 20. Jeez. No. Fifteen or higher? Uh fifteen. All right, don't bother bail. I think I know what you got. <laughs> Do we actually mute bail? <laughs> I didn't I no, I didn't. I didn't mute him. <laughs> <laughs> I got an eight. <laughs> I was like, I never muted you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I couldn't tell if I was muted or not. I don't see the thing around my my name light up when I talk, so. All right. Uh, up first is Sir Nunos. Um, I'm going to take a quick look at uh, Birdie, thinking about the fact that we didn't get her any healing last before our last fight. How injured does she look? Um, I got to look. I have about half health. Okay, I'm going to cast a spell, and Birdie is going to feel uh, 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 
growth and also a deep connection to her ancestors and turn into a giant oh no lizard <laughs> <laughs> And that's my turn. So is she a T-Rex? She's a T-Rex. Absolutely. T uh, Liz, look up the T-Rex stats. And that <laughs> is you don't have any of your character stats for this fight. Sorry. Oh my god, hold on. I'm so excited, actually. I freaking love it is the It is Birdie's turn. <laughs> show up in all of our campaigns after our first one where I decided to really mess with Efren and make Joseph a T-Rex. Oh. And then Liz made a nether T-Rex after she saw me do that. It just, it's the most logical choice. It really is. It truly is. Nothing but T-Rexes. This is wonderful. Yeah. I think that draws you just like the primal power of the giant lizard. By the way, Birdie, we it is your turn. Okay. Now it's you, Rex. Rexy Cage. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm, of course, going to attack. Um, I get two attacks. Just kidding. I get one attack. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to... Holy shit. I'm really going <laughs> to attack. Um, I'm going to bite. I'm going to bite this bitch. I'm going to... Oh, God. I figure out what my plus is. Holy shit. Um... Seven. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. That hits. Oh, dope. Forty-twelve. Oh, where are you at? Oh, I think I brought my dice out today. I have four sets, so it's perfect. Okay, wow. A twelve, a two, a one, and an eight. So that's twenty-three plus seven, so thirty damage. Whew, right off the bat, 30 damage. And then I like, Because oh. I can't talk. Argle, it's blood, is that what that was? Yeah. That was oh. mouthwash, actually. I, I care about dental hygiene. All right, Milana, it is your turn. Uh, I've switched back to my dwarven thrower. Or gnomish thrower. There we go. And then I want to go smash. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, well, that's not great. Uh, 17 to hit. Uh, 17 does hit. Oh, it does. Goody. And then a, that, that's not going to hit. I rolled a four. No. That's not going to hit. That's about a 12. So I just hit once. All right. For seven damage. All right. Well, only seven. Only seven. All right. Oh, wait. I switched to the Dwarven Hammer. Oh, 14 still not going to hit. Okay. But it is um, actually 9 damage. Sorry. All right. No worries. Wait, is he giant? Considered giant? He what size is, is he? large. Large? Okay. Never mind. Yeah, it's still just 9. I could make him bigger if you want. I could make him bigger if you want. You could make someone giant. That'd be great. I get two extra D8s. All right. Uh, so he's going to go ahead and sidestep uh, out of the way. So you, uh, both Milana and Birdie, are in a line. Uh, uh Milana, you can go and get an attack of opportunity because he is getting out of your um, uh, attack range. Uh, 16? That's a miss. Yeah. He conjures up some water and shoots a water jet into a 60-foot line, knocking, no. hitting both you and Birdie. Both of you give me a dexterity saving throw. Oh, shit, what's my dexterity? Oh, shit, okay. <laughs> I, Danger Sense would allow me to have advantage on this, right? Um, what is Danger Sense again? Uh, you have advantage on dexterity saving throws against effects that you can see, such as traps and spells. Uh, to gain this yeah. benefit, can't be blind, deaf, or incapacitated. Okay. Yeah, it works. Great. Oh, good. Thank yeah. God. Oh, I got a 19. Uh, 19. I got 15. All right. Um, Birdie, you're going to take half. Uh-oh. No, Milana, you are not. Uh, In fact, Milana, 
Uh, you are pushed away 20 feet and knocked prone. Let's be honest. I am like two some feet tall. <laughs> Do we really expect me not to be sent flying? You're going to take 27 damage while Birdie takes 13. I'm still over 100. All right, Bale, it is your turn. I, with my first move, I'm going to bonus action cast Hex on my opponent. Okay. And then I'm going to swing my sword twice. Uh, 24 to hit on the first. That hits. Which will do damage four, which Hex grants me one extra D6, I believe. Let me double check. So, yes. So, 2d6 plus 6. This is the base damage of the sword. Uh, that's going to be 17 damage. Okay. And 1d6. This is necrotic. I'm doing it separate just because I don't know if it's going to be discounted. Or discounted. That's fine. Yes, that's the word I'm going to use or not. Uh, 1. Doesn't matter if it takes half of 1. It's still 1. <laughs> and hit number 2. 13. 13 does not hit. All right, next up is back to Cern Yunos. Ah, well, um, I don't think I want to actually enlarge the giant beast. Um, no. I instead will concentrate upon it as I snap and say, You're enfeebled, buddy. <laughs> Okay. Even Sixteen. Plus what was it? Plus eight. Got a. I think at least a twenty-four. Yep. That hits. Um. Okay. So then. That's one. Just taking half damage. Yep. Uh. One second before you say anything. Uh. I'm gonna. So. I forgot this part of Hex. Choose an ability you ca when you cast a spell. The target has disadvantage on ability checks made of the chosen ability. Okay. I am going to choose Constitution. Okay. Uh, and uh, by the way, that's for strength-based attacks, correct? Yeah, I believe so. Okay. I that will verify. I, I, uh, Birdie, your turn. Sir. Oh, T-Rex. Me, bitey. Is, what size of creature is this? Large. Uh, which, large you, are, it is large. I'm Sorry. also large. And then charge. Okay. I'm going to bite. Wow. Oh, shit. A 16. That's a miss. I didn't want to bite it. It tasted gross the first time. Okay. <laughs> it tastes like shitty water. It tastes like shit. Um, yep. All right. It's going to move out of the way, so Bale, you can go ahead and take an attack of opportunity. Which I will. 21. That hits. 2d6. Uh, 2d4, 6. That's 12 plus 1d6. 17 damage total. All right. Uh, what's going to happen is he's going to shoot another water jet. Both of you make a dexterity saving throw. Nice. You have advantage on this, Liz. Oh, sweet. Am I because... getting hit again? No, you're not. He moved out of the way. You're not in the line of fire. Oh, thank God for the advantage. What you guys get? <laughs> While they're rolling, you should roll your uh, constitution save and see if, it, if the spell ends. 17. Uh, one second. Uh, 15 for the spell. Uh, oh, duck, son. It is at disadvantage, too. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what did you two get? Uh, I got 11, so I know I'm taking full damage and getting blasted 20 feet away. Uh, what did you get, uh, Birdie? 17. Okay, Birdie, you're fine. Oh, that was pitiful. Uh, what I rolled for damage. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Bale, you are knocked 20 feet away and are prone. Uh, you're going to take 15 damage. Uh, Birdie, you're going to take seven damage. Yeah. All right, next up is Bale. Oh, no, I skipped Milana, did I? How dare you? 
All right. So, I think you did, yeah. Yeah, I, I skipped it. Get up! You get I'm half. Rage. It takes half your movement to get up. Yeah. That's fine. I'm dripping wet. I don't like it. I'm raging and I chuck my new hammer at him. Ooh, nice. Yeah, he. <laughs> 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 oh wait! I'm ra- I decided to rage, so I have to find out what kind of rage is gonna happen. Um, I can honestly imagine Milana just going. <laughs> <laughs> so funny thing, I rolled a four, which uh, the magic infuses the weapon I'm holding. Basically, uh, it just gives me the properties that this hammer already has, which is <laughs> I can throw it and it comes back to my hand. Sweet. So. Oh, well, but that's fine. I'm going to yeet this hammer. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so. I have a question. Do you yeetus magnetus or yeetus deletus? <laughs> yeetus deletus. I'm going to delete this motherfucker. <laughs> um, it's an 18. 18 hits. <laughs> I think I broke Milana. No, I think the COVID shop's kicking it <laughs> oh, my head's starting to hurt um oh and because i looked it up with a ranged attack i get an extra d8 to hit oh nice uh so that is 16 for the first one nice and so the second hit does a 21 hit oh yeah great Dumb idiot um, well, it was 18 damage. All right. And the hammer comes back to my hand. Bale. I didn't like that! <laughs> uh, Bale's gonna stand up. I know I lose half my movement, so I will Eldritch Blast. All right. <laughs> Two of them. First one. <laughs> Does not hit. That's 11. Nope. Second one. 25. That hits. 1d10 no. plus 4 plus 1d6. 7, 8, 9, 15 damage. All right. Next up is Sir Nudos. Ah, it's my turn already? Very good. We shall uh, do a. Yes. We will do the age old classic Bolt of Arrow. <laughs> you okay? I might have He's killed choking. Him. Leave me alone to die. I, I missed my bolt and I sadly reload my crossbow. Oh god! And cry. All right, Birdie, back to you. When I was swallowing that water. It's Birdie, okay. Uh, I'm gonna bite again. I mean, I decided maybe I did like the taste the first time. <laughs> uh, ooh, 26. Oh, yeah, that hits. Oh, yeah, it does. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so we got a lot of numbers here. It's a lot of math. That's fun. Okay. 38 damage. <sighs> Very nice. Not looking well. No. Milana, since I skipped you last time, you'll go ahead. Oh, is it actually my turn? <laughs> Things take um, a lot longer to kill than the dragon. Uh, yeah, well, the dragon. All, all their had HPs have been going up. With a uh, had a natural twenty with my dragon smasher, so that's why it went a little quicker. Um, how far away am I? Twenty feet away from him, or more? You're twenty feet away. You never moved. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought you just sent me further. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna chuck the hammer at him first. I like where this start is going. Running at him. All right. I'm gonna start running at it, so I'm gonna catch it as it comes back to me. So for a 19. Oh yeah, that hits. Great. Uh, 17 damage. Okay. You yeet it at its knees. Right into his knees, and then at this point, I would like to then catch it and finish the last bit of running up to him to smash it with both hands. All right. Into his... Uh, for a 29. That hits. Go for it. 
great. 11 damage for that one. Oh, Wait, right. no. I'm oh. adding the wrong one. Where'd it go? Oh. <clears throat> I'm adding the wrong one. Sorry, it's... Uh, I said 11 for that one. It's actually 13. And then add two more to the first one because I was adding the wrong bonus. All right. So you chuck the hammer, throw it. It hits it in its knees. It bends the knee. You jump up, grab it, and from the heavens above, you hear Pixie go ahead and start howling as your hammer oh. glows and smash it down, finishing it off. Oh, good. I got him. And the last remaining words that says, you've just been caged. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. no, I want to see caged on this guy, too. I do believe, before it's we spelled, continue on... <laughs> One second. It's spelled caged how Milana would spell it. Um, oh, yeah. For which sure. is K A J E D. Yeah, exactly. Caged. I don't know how to spell. It's fine. We should take a short rest before we continue on. I do believe. Uh, uh, can we do that now or after our possible fight with the, the, the final of the Guardians? The final Guardian wasn't a fight. Remember? Yeah, it was an owl. Eight. We're gonna fight the freaking owl. Yeah, uh, you, can take a nap. you can take a nap. But I, I do know that I've been hit. Birdie's been hit, but Birdie's currently a T Rex. Yes, I know. Uh, and you, Sir Nunos, have expended some spells, which I'm sure you get back with short rests. I can get back some spells, and if, uh, if it's fine. I mean, we do have a T Rex with us for the next 59. Minutes and some odd seconds, but that's fine. We can sleep. Yes, I, b I believe going into what should be the next and final battle, we should be... My mouse is still moving without me touching it. What the hell? Uh, should be fully oh, I'm into your rested and prepped. And that I, unfortunately I'm means... I'm not convinced that we do not fight the owl. But Maybe we just fight like a tornado. Oh, I want to fight the wind. Hell yeah. I want the wind. And also, as much as I like a T-Rex, I believe Birdie is a bit more beneficial than just a T-Rex. Nah, T-Rex is great. Wait, how many hit points does a T-Rex have at the start? Like, full hit points? Oh, 130. 30 something, I think. Well, so yeah, 130 oh. something. Oh my god, so I have the same amount of health points as a T-Rex. <laughs> so what do y'all do? Well, I, I'm voting for a short rest. As much as I would love having a T-Rex, I, I personally care. think that Birdie is more useful as a Birdie cage than as a T-Rex. That's rest. fine. We can wait. Uh, All right. That means we go back to 40 health points. But I guess short rest, I get more health points. Mm -hmm. All right. You all uh, take a short rest. Go and do what you need to do. My ruling is you get as many short rests as you have hit dice. So if you use up all your hit dice, you don't get any healing uh, whenever the party takes a short rest. I only I expended two of my uh, Warlock hit die. All right. So I've still got plenty if we take go? one later. I uh, got my spell slots back that I Dropping used. Dropping jerky over there? No. I'd be more devastated. i drop dice. Uh, I will be so right jerky rate <laughs> jerky ranks higher than dice free. Uh yeah. Fair, fair. All right. You all taking a short rest? What do you do now? We Birdie's go. no longer a T Rex. Because life is unfair and it's fine. Um all right. Um, I'm pretty um, sure he can turn you back into a T Rex. I'm a T Rex at heart. Um, so there are some stairs to ascend, I believe, yes? Yep. Yeah. All right. I All right. Yep. to spend very meticulous time as I first will uh, inspect every single step as I go up for any uh, crevices or hollow points that might contain a hidden point. All right. So as you go up the stairs, you notice that it goes from its like very ocean-like uh, demeanor to a very dark room where you Ooh. can no longer see. Wait. 
I'm blind. I'm pretty sure I can see. I, I have that look. blind fighting. Don't okay. do that. Um, I can read it again, but where are you? Come back. You can see within 10 feet of you. Uh, yes, I can see within 10 feet. I have blind sight within 10 feet. I think blind sight is like you understand what is there, not necessarily when you see what it is. Right. Well, no, within 10 feet, I can effectively see anything that isn't behind total cover, even if I'm blinded or in darkness. Yeah. So you don't see anything. But not color. I can uh, also see an invisible creature that's within that range, as long as as long as it hasn't successfully hidden from me. Okay. So as you all get into this room, I need you all to give me a perception check uh, with disadvantage, except Milana. Should okay. I use... Oh, with disadvantage? All right. Mm -hmm. oh. okay. I got a 14. Okay. Sorry about that. I really had to use the bathroom. I'm 23! 18. Why did I bother? <laughs> this is perception, oh. by the way. Oh, okay. I'm like, are we rolling initiative? No. Uh, perception yes. 13. Yeah, I, not being a 23. I rolled a 17. My initiative would have been so much greater. All right. So um, each of you find like a little something, like your hands touch something. Milana, you notice that it's like a, it's made out of wood. It, it seems like a little statue, like a little shelf. Um, the lights kick on. It's a wood shelf. Um, you see a bunch of owls surrounding you and I descending from the, the ceiling. You hear the following words. Welcome to the everyone's favorite game, Sphere um, of oh, Annihilation. You see your owl guardian friend. Well, we have our four contestants today. And uh, let's see if their teamwork helps them solve some riddles. <laughs> We're all going to die. I'm so excited. <laughs> if they're successful, they get to move on and face the wizard. If they're not, they meet the sphere of annihilation. <laughs> all right. I can win this real easy right now, guys. First one to, uh, first one to head to their, uh, to their uh, pedestal was Sir Nunos. Oh, hello, Sir Nunos. Hello. Welcome back to the show. Our returning Thank champion. Thank you. Uh, yeah. First question. I am the beginning of the end and the end of before. I am the beginning of the end and the end of the four? Of before. The end of before. I am the end of the Liz, do you have the answer? Oh, of course I do. You can't say it until so it's your I. Turn. I can't say I it. Know. We're not, we're not I think I have the answer. <laughs> <laughs> what is hollow notes? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so, I've, I've, I've found my way through this, and I have done some math, and oh. then I thought back to when I was a young lad, and I was running over a tree that was uh, over a river, and I almost fell in, and it's the letter E. <laughs> Judges? <laughs> that is absolutely correct. Ding, 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 ding. Oh you see uh, a bar that's on the door heading to the stairs. One of them, of three, open. All Ooh. right. Very good job. Very, very nice job to you. Uh, we're heading up to Birdie Cage. Uh, <laughs> Recently found out they have arms, and when the time they found they have legs. Welcome, Birdie Cage. You know how the how it all works today. So, answer this question. Uh -huh. I have towns without people, forests without trees, and rivers without water. Probably a map. Judges? Ding, 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 ding. Game. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, the second bar opens. This is incredible. Will, will this be a perfect suite? We'll find out after these messages. Are you tired of lugging around 
all these items? <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. Fear no more. We have the makers of the Bag of Holding. We have the Bag of Devouring. Get rid of paper. Plastic. Enemies. People you love. People you hate. Put them all in the Bag of Devouring. Makers of the Bag of Holding. We are not responsible for anyone that gets hurt, devoured, or destroyed in this. Please do not put a bag of holding and a bag of devouring into each other. They will destroy the universe. All right, we are back from our messages. All right. Uh, Milana, he looks behind the thing. So, someone get her a box. They uh, give you a box no, I've, been, I've been playing with Pixie this entire time because I've lost interest. <laughs> so he uh, he looks at you. He does a planar shift. You cannot look at your notes for this. What? What is my name? I don't like you. Oh. Hey, what's hilarious is on my screen, Liz is staring up at Sierra like, please get this right. <laughs> <laughs> What's this goddamn fucking name? Oh no, Sierra's camera it just It started out. with an S. I'm Dude. certain of it. Would you like to use a lifeline? Stamos. Stop. Um, while she's thinking about that, I want to tell you the name that I have for you. It is Nope, 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 nope. She didn't use a lifeline. I, that, I'm sorry. It was me. It was my nickname. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mother of God. No, that is not my name. No, I'm, I'm just, not I'm just... telling you that. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm certain it started with an S and ended with an S. Da, 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 Full name. Hey, Stalos? Uh, judges, you feel the you feel the floor beneath you, lower twice, <gasps> and then the final door opens. You have made <gasps> it through. It was a clean sweep, everyone. The sphere of annihilation. <laughs> Brought to you by the bag. I'm gonna be honest, Efren. That was the one note I didn't take last time. <laughs> So it wouldn't have mattered because I didn't have it. You know what was the best uh, part of that? I didn't remember it was an S. I only said you couldn't look at the notes. Oh, that's right. Nice. But I remembered. <laughs> and that was two weeks ago. It nice. was. And uh, you're currently I... heavily medicated. No, I, I remembered it was an S, and I thought for a second it was Stamos. Nice. Yes, was it's John Stamos. John Stamos, which helped <laughs> me get to Uncle it. Uncle Jesse... You take off a mask. <laughs> uh, remember when we kept trying to get celebrities to follow us? We didn't forget you, Celine, De Celine Dion. Celine Dion. Yeah. We got the Titanic and reference in here and everything. Come well, on. Hey, no, you're already forgetting the first person, Shania Twain. Oh, that's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Shania Twain, uh, the Hoff, Celine Dion. Now we have John Stamos. Pretty sure there's another one. If only we could get them on this show. Yeah, they could join us. A feature this That's season. Fun. Upcoming season. It's like, I have a career. What am I doing with these guys? <laughs> Having fun. All right. You go up the stairs. Doing what Snoop Dogg yeah. does. Just playing the side quests. Um, when yes, I, I go up the stairs. I'm going to uh, um, t t t search for a, a, a sprig of grass, and if I, I'll pick it and and blow it, and it will bless my three friends. <laughs> um, can I hug Stalos before we leave? Of course. Hi, it's good to see you. <laughs> Be sure to visit. We'll play more games like this. I still have your father. And I still have a Tarask. Wait, what? Oh, what was that? Can I meet it? Meet what? The Tarask. 
I don't have one. You have one. What? Oh, thank you. He like he like he just stands there awkwardly, just like as if he just turned off. <laughs> uh oh, he's not here. Goodbye, Steve. We'll see you later. He's he's gone. He's gone. Yes. Okay. I'll come in full house. <laughs> All right. So, uh, you go up the stairs. Yes. As you go up the stairs, right. you feel all this magical energy that's just filled in this room. As you enter the final room, a giant ritual is going on. You see uh candles, books open, mystical auras just surrounding this room. You hear uh, chanting from this wizard. Like as, And he stops his chanting as he looks up. <laughs> the ritual's already begun. You're far too late. Roll initiative. I'm not late. My mom said I was premature. <laughs> 28. Nat 20. Dang it. Uh, are we just yelling them out now? Yeah, just yell them out. Mine was above 25, so I was like, all right. All right. Uh, I got three. <laughs> uh, Birdie, you're first. Oh yeah, I am. Hello, I'd like to say hello. Um, because I don't, I don't think we've like formally introduced each other. Um, and I'd like to tell him go fuck himself right after. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to bonus action, um, crimson right, this bitch. Um, so I'm going to take my damage real quick. I just got to roll it. Um, it's a D6. Yes. Oh, sweet. I only got a one. Um, so I'm going to damage myself one. Uh, and then I'm going to attack twice with my cool new shit. All right. That one stopped working for me. So I'm using new one. Oh, yes. Okay. So the first one is a... Uh, 29. 29 hits. Dope. Um, and the second one is a 27 to hit. Oh, yeah, that hits too. Hell yeah, it does. Okay. And that's D12. So we're going to take some D12s on oh, nice. Okay. Nine. Three. Oh, and I have to do D6s because I activate my crimson. Right. Is he undead? Is he still kicking, or did he? No, kick he's not on dead. Oh, that sucks. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so we're gonna do eleven plus um uh oh uh, shit um plus um uh, um uh, um eight eleven nineteen for the first hit. Okay. And then five and five and ten plus eight and eighteen for the second hit. Okay. Next up is Sir Nunos. All right. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to stare deep into the focus of time. And then I look up at him. Okay. Stare straight into this foul wizard's eyes. And he needs to make a, what was the saving throw? Constitution saving throw. Okay. He's going to counterspell it. It is a fifth level spell, I think. Uh, yeah, level spell, so that means there's at least a contest at that point. Okay, so... I'm trying to remember what that contest is. There it is. Well, I rolled a 17. Does that have to match or beat my uh, spell saving? It's 10 plus the spell's level, so if you rolled higher than a 15. Okay. It works. Oh, it's not my spell saving throw at all? No. No. Oh. It, so counter spell, if I remember correctly, yep. if it's above yeah, third it's level. Yeah, 10 plus the spell's level. 10 plus spell level. All right, you did it. All right. Yeah. I guess that's all for me. Milana, it's your turn. I rage. And that's going to be... Ooh, that's that one. 
Oh, I forget. It. Um. So I get six. I rolled six. So I am surrounded by multicolored protective lights. I have a plus one bonus to AC, and anyone that is my ally that's within ten feet of me gets the same bonus. So that goes up, and then I run straight at him to hit him twice. All right. Um, does a 22 hit? Yeah. And then a non-natural 20. Yes. Oh, goody. Well, that is uh, 15 for the first hit. Okay. And then 15 again. All right. He's not looking good at all. Nah. He looks at all you fools. Everybody uh -huh. in the room needs to make me a constitution saving throw. Oh, good. I'm good at that. within 10 feet of me? Uh, everyone left your side unless Sir Nunos is still near you. I didn't move. Sir Nunos, you have advantage on the saving throw. Uh, uh, well, I'll take it, but I don't think I need it. Same as it was. 22. Constitution? 23. Wow. 19. Jesus, you all made 26. it. 26. <laughs> I have a plus eight to constitution saving throws. All Wait. right. You would did have. He cast a spell? Yes, he did. Oh, this bitch, I get to attack him. Because oh, I have that's that. right. Go. Go for what, it. What, a, what an idiot. He fell right into my trap. Uh, 21, two, 22. 22, okay. He's still up, but barely. Oh, Everyone, it, you guys hit. would have taken 60 damage, but you all take hey. 30 for half. Uh, as the room fills up with ice. Uh, Wait, it was so to hit, not for damage. Um, I can't do a spell, so it doesn't matter. Was, was it magical? It was. Okay, I'll take 15 then. Oh, okay. Because I, I have say, two magic. Vale, it is your turn. Um, I guess I'm gonna run up and hit him twice. Go for it. Cause that fucking hurt. Twenty-eight. Oh yeah. Is he a fiend? No. Cause you already answered that he's not undead, so that one doesn't happen. Uh, two d six plus six. Seventeen damage. All right. I'm going to channel Divinity that one for 23. Whew. Yeah. 14 damage. So 31 total. All right. You hit him. You slice him. He gets knocked back. He throws something down the floor and this barrier goes around him. Fools. I already told you. It was too late. He starts circling his hands. Starts chanting his spell. My he. My, oh my, my god. <laughs> no. He takes this orb and he throws it out the window out into the field. It oh, looks no. like the world has split in half. Efren. Yes. I, I want to cast a reaction spell. Okay. I'm going to say. So, go ahead. You were going to say what? This is all theatrics. He's dead. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. That's fine. Cool. Um, so you see, like, the. the the plane shift of reality just opens up. You see fire. You smell brimstone. You hear cackles of demons, fiends, undead from this portal as armies of skeletons, monsters, demons all walk out of this portal. As they all make lines and they part down the middle, walking out from that portal. The bail. <laughs> Look, I already killed myself. It's Pixie. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, coming from that portal is an old enemy you have met long, long ago. Oh, the mighty God. knight turned evil, Ades. You met Adess? him in the first adventure. He kidnapped the oh, princess. My... 
That's Dante, right. That's dumb shit. Boss fight. He throws down his sword. He takes a knee as he awaits your arrival. Surrounded by this horde of monsters. Um, I guess we... I say we wait here for him. I don't think we get that choice. I think What's we What's he gonna do about it? Destroy the world? <laughs> Soon you know his last words. What's he gonna do about it? <laughs> yeah. hmm. uh, I'm gonna pop both my potions of healing real quick. Before we head out, that's nine points. Nine. And then... Oh, cool. Eleven. Uh, then I'm going to full heal with my lay on hands after that. That's eight points. All right. So I'm back up to full. Um, but I'm also I out really, of I really just want to come up with you, but I don't feel like you'd appreciate it. No, okay. <laughs> um, I feel like that portal should be closed. Let us move over to it then, I guess. Give him the power. Is there a quick way or do we have to walk back through the whole tower? Uh, it's near the tower. You could just walk downstairs. Okay. Or you could jump out the window, see how well that works for you. Oh, Wait, go. I'm going to do that one. I jumped out the window with Pixie. All right. So you're super uh, high up. Man. You're at least... The tower is at least 500 feet in the air. Uh, Whoa. so you, okay. you, Pixie can fly, so you can fly your way down. Yeah, we just, just go that way now, because it seems far more dramatic than walking down all those stairs. All right. Also, I want to look like a Valkyrie, so just saying. <laughs> I right. can all fly. Oh, wait, no, I can't do it. I was wrong. I was thinking my, that Feather 4 only worked on me, but listen, look, Barrett, watch this. I slap both of us on the chest and then push. I attempt to push you over the edge. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. 500 I feet. I don't think Feather 4 works for that distance. So hard. <laughs> <laughs> when, when, he, I, when he resists, I slip off of it and fall over the edge. Oh, my, oh my God. God. I, I go catch him. Oh, my God. It lasts for like a minute. Are you telling me I can't get 600 feet in a minute? No. No, not feather falling. You can't! For, I will say for the sake of how cool this is, yes. Okay. Her DM's hey, discretion, Everett, Everett, I will jump out the window. Instead of the feather fall actually working, he thinks it works, but it's just Bernie caught him. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm fine with that, too. <laughs> So you I are the only normal one walking down the stairs. Uh, as uh, you all float back down to the, um, back to the ground. In front of you are hundreds, motherfuckers, thousands, thousands of goddamn windows and shit. <laughs> God damn it. If not hundreds of thousands or even millions of enemies standing in front of the four of you. Sure enough, the sky goes dark again. A mighty dragon's war, paired with oh. another dragon's war. God damn it! Is it Timit? No. S oh, is it standing by your side, Bahamut and Zadan, both aid you. Like both stand near you, as you look behind you. All the kingdoms come together and have your back. You see Matoya. You see King Hasselhoff. You even oh, see the uh, ripoff um, Scooby in the gang. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Which was uh, part of the episode of Milana and Birdie's uh, Scary Adventures. Go watch that one. Where I got Pixie! Yep. I really see the cool 80s TV show uh, Latoya Jackson and Hasselhoff in doing buddy cop action. Yeah. So, anyway, <laughs> the Bahamut looks at you. You know what must be done. We'll clear a path. He roars and he starts with his mighty breath, starts ripping sh to shreds a bunch of enemies. The armies behind you runs in front of you and starts clearing out the pass and starts trying to fight. Ades sits there and watches you as he awaits. 
He stands up, takes up his sword, points it at all of you. Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> um. I point my 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 pine pine cone staff at him and say, "Huzzah, good sir! Huzzah!" Has, has Bale reached the ground yet? <laughs> that fall takes a while, I'm sure. You are all at the ground. Um, I will take the great sword from my back with just my right arm, point it straight at a desk, and say the time has come for you to fall truly. You won't be coming back this time. <laughs> I really want to use the genie. If you want to, this is your chance. <laughs> like, just straight looks at you. You what? <laughs> Wait, Bale, did you not notice? Um, yeah, I'm going to pull out that genie lamp. Say, do you not remember that Bale was gorging himself on oh, alcohol? Oh, yeah, you thought, it was all a myth. you thought it was all just a strange hallucination. I didn't think it was shit. You what? <laughs> I pulled out the genie. All right. Hi! Yeah, so, oh, Jesus, what is happening over here? Yeah, um, bit of a problem. I oh, would like shit. to wish for all the, of uh, the... You're going to have to say that again. You cut out there. Your oh, COVID oh. shots. I would like to computer. wish for all of Hell's armies and all of the Hell people to be sucked back into Hell and the gate closed. Um, okay. A little Thank anticlimactic, you. but okay. He snaps his fingers. Um, both armies get pushed back. All, all the monsters from the other side go back. All except Odess. That's fine. As I just your don't armies, want the other our army to kill, get pushed back uh, as well. Odess looks up. Immediately, he moves so fast, he stands behind the genie, and a sword uh, gets pierced through the genie. Uh, can I do a reaction? Uh, perception, because he moves really fast. It doesn't matter. You sure? It's good. Uh, as this happens, he whispers in the genie's ears, chaos will always live. Rips out his sword and throws the genie down. Rude. And he, he turns around and he gets in a dueling pose against all four of you. I'm about to, yeah, how close is he? Because I'm going to hey, swing. He's pretty close now. Roll initiative. I was, I was going to swing. Oh, damn. That's, uh, no, that's not cocked. Okay. All right, I'm just going to put Bale last. Um, uh, it's an 11, so I don't know oh. if I'm actually last. <laughs> uh, beat me. 20 or higher. If, oh, sorry. I'm not excited. 15 or higher? 15. 18. How dare he kill my genie friend? Big monster! You got tired <laughs> of me throwing stupid pictures in your stupid plans. Anticlimactic. Dude, you just ruined the last session by wishing everything away. He gave me a genie! This is what should happen! <laughs> you get, it was yeah. either that or I wish the genie was bad at math. Alright. So, <sighs> Sir Nunos, you are first. Oh. Alright. Oh. Then, oh... This guy's a, a big, bad fighter boy, right? Yes, he's also a little magical, too. Big boy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> boy. All right, I'm going to do it. Boy. Um, I'm going to, once again, stare deep within the wells of time and then direct that energy of time straight into the eyeballs of this bastard from hell. Your he needs to make a constitution saving throw. All right. Oh, 15. He fails. All right, what happens? <clears throat> All right, so this is a badass spell. All right, so it is. So he is going to be taking, where was that? Five, five D12, is that what I was thinking? Okay. Bing. Mm. 
Nope, that's the wrong spell. That's why I was not un seeing it. Yep, 5d12. Here we go. 9, 12, so it's 21, uh, 27, uh, 27, it's 34, and 37 as a total of damage coming at him. How much? Uh, 47. Yeah, 47. 47. <laughs> Holy I, shit. It was a 9, a 12, uh, a 6, a 3, 37. I'm sorry. I, I'm going with that one. I'm not sure. Uh, and there is going to be some continuation of that, which is basically meaning I'm going to be concentrating completely on that spell. All right. Well, while that's going on, uh, he's going to go ahead and attack with a legendary action. She's a little bitch. Um, oh, wait, you're not near him. You can't do that. Um, and so what was going on right there, by the way? He just felt time just pulling him apart. All right. That's my version of what, what it is. Really, it's a negative energy flood. I'm imagining he's just aging hardcore. <laughs> he looks at you, and he starts to murmur something with his words. Give me a constitution saving throw. I'm going to uh, twinkle my nose and make myself re-roll. I got a nine. You hear these words, and it stuns you in your place. You are now stunned until the next hit, end of his next turn. Okay. Milana, it is your turn. Is the genie dead? What was that? Is the genie dead? He's not moving. He dead dead? Perception. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> oh, he's fine. Okay. <laughs> uh, then I rage. All right. And smash this dumb motherfucker. But first, what do we get? Oh, goody. Uh, I rolled a five, so whenever a creature hits me with an attack roll, you, nah, until my rage ends, he takes a 1d6 force damage as retribution. All right. And then... I hit this motherfucker twice. <laughs> I hit this motherfucker twice. Uh, <laughs> 29 for the first hit. That. 29 hits. Uh, and then a 15 for the second. 15 misses. Of course it does. Uh, that will be a... 12 for the hit, first hit. 12? All right. All right, he takes 12 damage from that. Give me a second. And he gets pushed back five feet. I keep forgetting that I have the crusher. Every time I hit, it's five feet move back. All right. It's going to be his turn. Ooh, what does this do? How dare you hit my genie friend? <laughs> Uh, ooh, okay. He, he backs He's up funny. a little bit. He starts spinning his hands. And he shoots out from his hands all of these insects. He summoned an insect plague, which is like a fireball, but with insects. All of you give me a constitution saving throw. Anyone within 10 feet of me, so... Serdunos and Birdie for sure because we haven't moved. I don't know if Milana is advantage on the throw. Oh, um, it doesn't matter. I got 22. I got well, 27. Doesn't matter for me either. It was a constitution? Yep. Uh, okay, and there was advantage. So but means... you're also stunned, so it's going to cancel out your disadvantage. Uh, it's strength and dex. What? But Whatever, I'm fine with whatever. Uh, I got 12. So I got 13. 27, uh, baby. Oh, I got 22. All right. 
So, uh, pretty much everyone except Sununos is going to take half damage. Sununos, you're going to take 30, everyone else takes 15. What kind um, of damage is it? It is piercing damage. So, would I half it again because I'm raging? Uh, yes. Yes. I yes. know, that's. That's also, weird. all of you are now in this 20-foot ball of um, of insects that are just swarming around you. What was oh, the half oh, damage again? Half damage Delish. is 15. Okay, so I take 7. Double checking, because I only rolled 1 higher than Sir Nunos. I will still take half damage. What did you roll? I didn't hear you. I rolled a 13. Oh, no, you're taking full damage. You're also okay, taking yeah, 30. Okay, I'm like, I... I barely rolled higher than Sir Nuno, so I don't think I should be taking half. <laughs> All right, so well, when you're in this, since you're in this uh, sphere, it takes double your movement, so it's difficult to rain. It's um, twenty foot radius. This wouldn't be. It would make. An, it's a spell, so it's not an attack roll. No, it's not an attack roll. I want him to take retribution magic. How dare he! Can yes. the bugs take retribution magic? Which one? Which one? Which one? Is it as if as I'm losing my mind? Please help. Uh, it is um. Bale's turn. <laughs> no, they don't because they're just How a bunch of. How close is he to me? He moved back because he got pushed five feet and then he moved thirty feet away. I can't even reach him if I wanted to. I will try to move out of this bug thing. All right. I have twenty-five feet of movement, so I guess it's gonna take you it two turns. Time. Uh, I'm gonna hex him. Bonus action hex. Okay. And then, L uh, wisdom saving throws. So, anything wisdom related, he has disadvantage. Okay. Hex is a bonus action. Then I'm gonna cast mind spike, and I need a wisdom saving throw, please. All right. You said disadvantage. Yes. Oh, nice. Um. Yeah, twenty-three. Damn. Okay, you'll take half damage on this. All right. Six, seven, eight, fourteen. So you take seven damage. All right. Next up is Birdie. Ooh, I'm Birdie. I'm ready. What's your I'm speed? Movement speed. Um, my walking speed is 30, but my flying speed is 50. Okay. You you can get out of this. If you use walking, you get you can get out of it. If you use flying, you can get out of it and with some change. Oh, I'm a fly out. All right. I'm ready. Um, and while I do that, um, did this guy die and then come back? No, this is Odette. Um, I did say something earlier, if you didn't he, catch it. He came back from hell, so I'm assuming he died. He's either dead or he's a fiend. What are you going to do? I don't remember him, well, him I mean, my brain dying. Shot. I remember him disappearing. Oh, was he ever alive? What's your choice? What do you got? Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna blood maledict. Okay. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna hope I roll low. I did. And then I'm gonna fly at this bitch, right? Okay. Uh, can I make it to him with the fifty? Um, you're probably the only character that can get to him. No. Okay. So I. Fly at this bitch. And I brand the castigation. Um, but I also, if I'm not incapacitated, um, it doesn't say if it's a bonus action, actually. It's just special. And it go well, it goes with my brand the castigation, so I think I should be able to do it. Ethereal step. Okay. Uh, it just, I can step into the veil between the planes, and I can move through other creatures and objects like their difficult terrain. Okay. I'm the ethereal step. It lasts three rounds. And when I 
when I hit two damage, I can do something else. But I'm going to attack once I get to him. All right. Uh, the first one is a 22. That hits. The second one is a... Oh, another 22. Both hit. And makes it easy. Okay, sweet. So, I have to do 2d12, and then 2d6. And if he's undead, I get another 2d6. Yeah, you get the 2d6. I thought he was. I was like, I think this guy is dead. And I was right. I really just want to hit him once. Good luck. Yeah, I'm about fast. to do major fucking damage. <laughs> You're not the only one who's going to do major fucking damage if I get to hit his ass. Oh, it's going to be... It's going to be big. <laughs> okay. So, we have three, six, two, it's eight, nine, ten, eleven, plus three, sixteen damage. Okay. Uh, and then the second one is eleven and seventeen. And four is 21 plus three is 24 damage for the second one. All right. And I'm going to put, when, when I hit him, I can put my brand of castigation. Um, so if he tries to deal damage to anyone within five feet of me or him, uh, he gets more damage. Okay. So. Uh, dope. And I'm going to go through him, so now I'm behind him. So when I fly through him, I fly through him. You don't have enough happen. speed for that. Oh, shit. Fine. I, I fly close enough to him so I'm as close to him as I possibly can. You're, you're standing right next to him. I'm in his fucking bubble. Okay. I'm, I'm as close as I can be. I could even... Yeah. That's dope. So with that damage, you hear this being yelled out of his own mouth. This body was useless. This creature was useless. Well, I've rested long enough. Uh oh. A beam shoots out of his mouth, going to the sky, splitting, transporting all of you, all four of you, into a different plane. Oh, shit. It looks like you're floating in the middle of space. Stars, fire, brimstone, everything here. You are no longer on Earth. A, a, a giant beam just explodes from this body, summoning this giant fiend from his amongst mortals. You dare, you dare try to stop the balance of chaos? I mean, you I call, like chaos, but yeah. You call for order. There is no order without chaos. There is no good without bad. There is no light without the darkness. You fools. Hell shall rise again. Soon you notice you are no longer stunned. It is your turn. Well, oh, very good. Knows. Did a death drop to zero? Yeah, he's gone. I move my hex onto this new thing. Okay. Am I uh, still raging? You're still raging. Okay, here's good. the here's another slight question for for Liz might be carrying the the, the creature undead creature died does that do something for you Liz? The body um, is no longer there. He fine. obliterated. Continue, it. No, I am going to um, I'm going to look straight at uh, El El Julio uh, Demonosity and point at him <laughs> and a ray of enfeeblement will go his direction. <laughs> I hope that's his name now. El Julio Demonosity. Uh, I'm going to change my hex from when I move it, wisdom to constitution saving throws. Okay, so go ahead and try I to attack no it. More need for wisdom. Sir Nino, what's your attack? What? You gotta attack him. I. Okay. Uh, no, I do a Raven Feeblement, and that's a spell, which means that's. You have to but attack him. It's an attack roll. You... Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I forget how that thing works every time. Every every time. And I'm uh, the okay. that's slowly so, losing my mind here. You've only used it three times tonight. That means... 
that I got a whopping, come on, scroll all the way up. Uh, I think it's a miss is the answer. I got 12. That's a miss. Yeah, I got 12. Fail. Malata, it is your turn. Is he large, giant? He's huge. He's huge? I have no Where does idea. that fall on that scale? So, huge is bigger than large. But not giant. Okay. So, he's, he's a huge creature, yeah. Okay, so I can't... It's because this says if a target is a giant... Oh, a giant. A Never giant. mind. A giant. I read that wrong. Never mind. I don't care. I'm still raging. I'm going to go... How far away is he from me? Uh, so you can get to him because that locust thing is no longer there. Okay, then I'm going to run up to him. I'm going to recklessly attack for my first attack. All right. Smash him in some knees. Well, ankles. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. Those are both good rolls. Anyways, uh, that's a 29 for that first hit. All right. And a 27 for the second. All right. So go ahead. Um, uh, 13 for the first one. Okay. Oh, that's sad. Um, 10 for the second. All right. So, as you hit him, fire shoots back at you. Rude. The first attack, you're going to take 7 damage. Is this, it an actual attack roll? No, this is from you attacking him. The second time you attacked him, you're taking 13 fire damage. Okay, that's fine. It is now his turn. Both Milana and Birdie are standing next to him. Yeah. You both are going to take 12 damage of his aura of fire just surrounding him. Is it like a No, this is just his aura of pure it's evil. Like powerful aura. He's going to go ahead and first attack Birdie. No. 17. Yes. All right. Oh, wow. Okay. So you're going to take... Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. I need a smaller one. Oh, good. See, I'm being considerate. So considerate. You're going to take 22 uh, slashing damage. I have a question. I may have an answer. I don't know if you do or not. So for a serial step. Okay. I don't, I don't know because I'm... I'm not on this plane, but I am on this plane at the same time. What's your that's question? Not I, I'm not actually sure what the question is. I'm just really So curious. let's put it this way. He took you guys into a different place. Mm -hmm. you, you are now playing by the rules of that world. So if you're still in this form for the next two turns, you're still in this form for the next two turns. So Okay. So I'm still in between planes. Y you're fine. You're fine. Don't worry about the the, the flavor text there. I'm so confused. So it, it works. So confusing. imagine we're still on Earth. Yes. Just just it worry still about works that. Like that. Okay. Oh, so I remember what my question is. Okay. That wasn't. Can, the can, <laughs> can I get hit? <laughs> yes. Okay, dope. That's what the question was. Sounds good. 22 damage. God damn it, Liz. So the next one is going to go after uh, Milana. Okay. He's going to take 1d6 damage if he hits. All right. Uh, there's a 33 hit. You know what? It might just barely hit. <laughs> he gets with his offhand and he goes ahead and swipes at you. You're going to go ahead and take uh, 15 slashing damage. So seven. And uh, no. you're good to go. Next he up. Take, he, he takes five back. All right. Next up. <laughs> Just 
back and forth, huh? Bail. Is well, I have that rages. If I get hit, they yeah. get 1d6 force damage back. I'm down with Am it. I within range to get in striking range? Yes. I'm going to go hit this motherfucker twice. <laughs> motherfucker? Motherfucker. All right. <laughs> hit number one. Don't fail me. That one. <laughs> no. 17. That's a miss. Oh, hit number two. 15. That's a miss. Oh, God. Uh, I have bonus action. All I want to do is a bonus action here. <laughs> uh, I can hex again. Set spiritual weapon. That's None of these are bonus actions I want to do. So, Oh, sorry. No, yes, that's a lie. Bonus action. I'm going to heal myself 46. All right. Oh, that's amazing. Birdie. Heal for 22. Your turn. Four ones? No. Two fives, oh, sixes. Cool. Oh, cool. Uh, okay, I have... Yes. It is my turn, isn't it? Um, okay, so since it's, it's technically the same being, right? Just switched No, he's body. a completely different entity. Shit. Okay. But the other guy's gone. That sucks. I don't know if I can switch my brand. I'm just going to assume I can't. Okay. Um, I'm going to attack him. Is this guy undead or is he just chilling? He is a fiend. Liz, could you normally do your brand again? So it says that um, with the brand, um, it lasts until I dismiss it or I apply it to another creature. So I guess I could like apply it to another creature. I mean, it's probably dismissed naturally when some creature dies, right? Exactly. That's what I I'm ready to go. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to switch the brands over to this guy. Okay. Um, and then I'm just going to attack normally. Oh, go no, for it. Okay. Uh, 27. That hits. And a 24. That hits too. Yep. Okay. Are fiends undead? No, fiends are fiends. No, fiends are fiends. <laughs> <laughs> Is hard mode hard? No. I'm living my worst life and it's fine. Okay. Roll these over in a nice padded tray. Nine, six, four. Okay, we're gonna do that 15 plus 3 is 18 damage, and then 11 plus 4 plus 3 is 18 damage. So 36 damage. All right. Yay. Cool. And I moved my brand over. Sir Nuno, it's back to you. Ah, okay. Um, I, I look at my finger, and I... I think about doing the spell again, but before I do, I look at Birdie. How how healthy does she look? Birdie? How oh, I look like shit. Oh. Hmm. Oh, yeah, by the way, well, you gotta take some damage for attacking him. What? Yep. Yeah. You take 16 for the first attack. Uh, well, no, don't bother rolling the second one. I'm down. Okay. <laughs> Then I use my turn to uh, uh, I drop my my cool pinecone staff, oh, and then I pull from my back a rod of resurrection, and I'm pretty sure heal is a uh, decent range on it. I don't have it up. Uh, yeah. Am I close to heal her? Then I do. You can. So you if you use it on her and use a charge, and it brings her to, uh, it gives her 70 HP. Yep, exactly correct. Holy fuck. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, and it's within 60, so it should be good. That's, Great. That's my turn. All right, Milana, it's your turn. I hit him twice. <laughs> I swear to God, if you say hit him really hard, I'm going to kick you in the dick. <laughs> you hit him really hard. I hit, I hit him. <laughs> 
<laughs> real hard. <laughs> oh, God, guys. Uh, since he did damage, he also takes three psychic damage. Okay. What? What? What's going damage. on? So, Milana, it's your turn. A 28. That hits. And a 29. All right. For a 13. Okay, which is funny. You take 13 back. Let's fuck him. Um, and... And he takes another three. <laughs> Why does he take three? Because every time he attacks someone with the random castigation... But you also he dropped. Oh, yeah, you're down. Oh, shit, you're right. Just kidding. He can't do shit. So uh, him. Well, not him, us. 16 is the second damage. All right. You take 14. Is this fire? Yes. I'm stupid. Oh, no, no, my pencil. I lost it. <laughs> All right. So it is his turn. So it's Bale, Milana, and uh, Birdie are right next to him. You only take 10. That's not bad. He he looks at the sword Bale has. He laughs as he swipes at you. 26 to hit. Jesus. That'll do it. CL, are you helping? Thank you for getting my <laughs> D8. God, God, please help me roll better. Please, cat god, please. There is no god for you. His name is Torm. Yeah, he, he abandoned you. I'm on a different plane of existence than 22 Torm. damage to Bale. I'm glad I healed myself before we came in here. Otherwise, I'd be fucking on the ground. All right, and then another one to Milana. No. Ooh. Um, 18. Yeah. Uh, 15 damage. So, 7. Yeah. And he takes 5 back. Alright. It is Bale's turn. I'm just gonna say, I'm under Hit half. number 1. 18 doesn't hit? No. Hit... Number two. Please. Okay, no, we're not using that die. We're going to use this one, because that one's been failing me. Please. 19 doesn't hit. 19 hits. Oh. Okay, let's get ready to rock some socks. I thought it was so, wrong. 2d6. I thought it was Yes us. Oh, it is. The I'm not throwing. Plus two d yes. Plus divine smite. Ooh, okay. Second level. Forty-eight. Three, four. Right. Let me double check that. Features and traits. Where's my divine smite? Where's my divine smite? Nope. Divine smite. Uh, melee weapon. Two d eight extra radiant plus one d eight per spell level. Plus 1d8 against undead or fiend. So yeah, that's 48. 2d6 plus 6 is 15 plus 2d10. That's 19 plus 48. Fuck. <laughs> Seven, 14, Please tell me he's going to go down. 22, 28 damage on top of the 19 I just rolled. Is he down? 47? Is he dead yet? Yeah, 47. You're right. 47? All yep. right. Oh, he's a tenth of the way there. And Wait, then... What? He's what? <laughs> no, nothing. What? An eighth? Uh, I'm going down. I uh, will... Oh, hold on. I have to take damage because I hit him, right? Uh, yeah, so you take ten fire damage. Ow. Uh, shit, bonus action, shield of faith myself, so I have plus two AC. 
All right, Birdie, your turn. Birdie's dead. No, Birdie's up. Birdie, no, nope. no, Birdie's alive now. She got healed for seventy. Oh god. I got healed for seventy health points, which Dang. is good. Um, I am going to um, attack. I thought I had something else that was cool, and I don't. You do. It's called arms. It's, yeah. it's very true. Um. Okay, I'm just gonna attack. Where am I? There it is. Okay. Thirty. Yeah, thirty and, hits. Um, twenty. They both hit. Nope. Okay, let's just see here. I'm just gonna roll to this. Let me see. I don't know where the goals are. Where? Okay, so we have eleven plus three is fourteen. And okay, nine and four is thirteen plus three is sixteen. So thirty damage. All right. Thirty. Oh, and, and before I end my turn, um, I do this. I charge at him. I go through him and attack him. So I end up behind him. Okay. So oh, okay. how much damage does that do? Uh, that doesn't do shit. It's just my ethereal step. I just have to use it before I lose it. Otherwise, I did it for nothing. So I go through him um, just to just because I can, and I end up behind him and attack from behind. All right. Oh. You the... also take 20 damage from in total. Well, that's fine. Okay. He takes an extra 4 damage. I forgot to roll one more d6 for the hex. Sorry. Liz, did you castigate him? It is... I went down. Sir Nunos, your turn. Okay. Uh, looking at my, my companions, do we... Do, does Bale or Milana look like they're really hurting oh. at the moment? Oh, Milana's hurting half. pretty bad. I, I think I can survive one more okay. round. I can so probably I'm survive. I'm going to uh, use my rod on Milana and heal her for 70 health. Also, it cures other things if you are like blinded or something. I don't remember what off the top of my head, but I will get it. All Maybe right. So I, get, you I get 70 back as in 7-0? Seven, 7-0. Zero? Seven, seven, zero. Oh, damn. You get 70 back and your arthritis is cured. That's right. Hey, baby. <laughs> Apparently, you Milana had my arthritis. A nine-year-old. <laughs> I did. I didn't have arthritis. It's from years of jumping out of windows. Uh, is it my turn? It is your turn, Milana. Oh, I'm gonna hit him again. Go for it. Hit this motherfucker again. I feel really. I feel. Uh, um, I feel. A, I, I, I feel. A, uh, English is failing. I feel invigorated again, so I'm gonna hit him twice. I can Real. see. I can fight. And I'm going to reckless attack for the first one. All right. Can I just get a... Well, fine. 23. That hits. And uh, 15 is not going to hit. Nope. So just the one. Uh, that will be 14 damage. All right. Yeah. So here's what happens. Oh no, I get hit. Phase two. <laughs> yeah, it's a new transformation. Uh, Wait, he's dead? <laughs> no. This wasn't even my final form. That was his first form. Second form. What? what? I'm sorry, what? Uh, so what happens is you hit him. Bale slices him. Birdie punches him. You, your gauntlet starts to glow. You what? see in the sky, Bahamut was able to burst through the sky starts shooting at your hammer your gauntlet starts to shine and it shoots at your hammer and you swing you take out chaos you hear him screaming no no sir nunos jumps in creates a bar magical barrier to protect each of you mm -hmm. as chaos explodes ah! you like a one hit in this entire fight <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell Tom to give you better dice. <laughs> or save your nat 20s for later. Um, yeah, exactly. Oh my god, if I rolled nat 20 on that. Oh, oh. As this happens, you are no longer in that plane oh. of chaos that you were brought to by chaos himself. Standing around you, 
are all the kingdoms taking a knee, bowing to their champions. The land has been saved. The world is at peace. Chaos is no more. Immediately you hear King Hasselhoff yell, three cheers for their chosen warriors. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. Milana, make a perception check. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. Why do I have to make the perception with, check? With advantage. Oh, really? That's helpful, because... Uh, 15? Yeah, 15. Okay. So, as everyone's celebrating and cheering, in the distance, you see your genie friend give you a smile, make his little uh, thimble, and he starts to walk away in happiness. Bye! The world is saved. Everyone can rest easy tonight. So and that to is where we will end this campaign of the group with no name. Insert name here. Awesome. Yeah, insert name here. Uh, I'm going to go insert name now. Or insert name here. <laughs> uh, we will go ahead and retire these characters. Uh, go and give yourself an extra level or two. Your choice. Um, <laughs> My uh, choice. He's getting retired. <laughs> oh, Milana's not being retired. Uh, eventually, someday, Milana will be returning with a new party. <laughs> but wait. As Sir Nurnos is celebrating, a freeze frame pops up. A bunch of text happens underneath. Sir Nurnos went on to become a connoisseur of famous wines. Mm -hmm. And when he battled his, his famous donkeys, the score is still one Sir Nurnos. 99 donkeys. <laughs> Birdie, so freeze frame. Birdie Cage not only discovered she has arms, legs, but she also discovered she has one thing she's been longing for. Seeds. Endless, endless seeds. <laughs> as she eats Fruit them very sloppily as she sits in the princess's arms. Jesus. Bail. Milana. No. Uh, <laughs> Bail. Oh. Bail, Ew. finally at peace with his past, was asked to be part of the King's Guard. Do you accept? I have one more thing I must do before I accept becoming part of your guard. There's a Count that needs to be taken care of. Don't you dare. <laughs> okay. Very well. He's over there drinking wine. Leave him. Why is he here? He's part of the kingdom. He's evil. Yeah. Oh my god, so are Dude, you. That's that's so messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that elf here? I would like to drag Dude, that's even Bale more messed down up. by his beard. Bale's been excommunicated <laughs> for his uh, Excuse prejudice. Me. <laughs> Excuse me, Bale. I would like to grab him by his beard, pull him down to my height, and be like, don't you dare touch him. <laughs> I was just going to say, if you have any allegations or or uh, proofs of crimes, then maybe that could assist you in the, the worthiness of your cause. The imprisonment of my, not my people, but the drugger. <laughs> The Count looks up to you. They're imprisoned. Look. It's like, look, I understand I, in your eyes I am evil. But who's to say you weren't evil in the eyes of others? I was. I repented. Did you? And yet you're trying to kill him. Because <laughs> he's you evil. Very well. That's literally what my character does. <laughs> you have much to your learn, young one. Much, much to learn. Would you like some wine? Is it from your personal collection? Maybe. No, thank you. Hi. Whatever. I'll <laughs> drink it myself. I hope not. <laughs> I'm only thousands of thousands of years old. I don't need this. You don't? <laughs> I love how that's how what, we get a lasting impression of Bale. Um, <laughs> and right Milana. Down the count. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, as Milana is enjoying the festivities, uh, not allowed to drink wine, but drinking juice, and also a water bowl for Pixie, a note from the fairies uh, has been delivered. Fairies! 
If only Milana could read, she'd be yes. even more excited. This is <laughs> true. That is uh, our, the end of our wait, game. Oh, wait. Wait. there's more. Or not. You said, wait. <laughs> you said, Milana. wait. Milana. Yeah. I said, wait. You said, yeah, wait. you did say, I wait. I don't know what that note says, but apparently I don't know. <laughs> I wonder if Milana would ask any adult around her if they can read this letter. Fine. <laughs> I go find, Ooh. I go find uh, the count. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> and I ask him to read me the note <laughs> while well, like sticking your tongue out at bail like suck it bitch <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he looks at the note uh, oh very interesting perhaps your services might be needed in the fey world oh, okay <laughs> will we see Milana again Will Sir Nunos ever go two and ninety nine against the donkeys? What yeah. else will Bertie discover about Bertie's self? And is Bale ever gonna stop being prejudiced? <laughs> we will never know. Or one day we might. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This was our first season. It was like 17, 18 episodes. Uh, I know the next time we play, we're gonna change it up a little bit. Uh, we're gonna have shorter campaigns. So not a big, long, overall story, but little story arcs. Maybe this one takes us to level three, this one takes us to level five, so on and so forth. Um, we might have some people jump in as, like, guests every now and then just to kind of, like, play one-offs or whatever. Or uh, And very lenient in case one of our people has to uh, head out for something and cannot show up. And also, I'm trying to work on Roll20 so you guys can have a visual not us. We're gonna have to wait to the video, uh, so the uh, so the audience can have a visual of like the map and everything, so we can have a few more things. I'm still playing around with it. Um, oh, yeah, so the audience know what happened, but we don't get to know. Right. <laughs> I, and I'll try to be as vivid as possible because writing a one shot or writing in a campaign, oh my goodness. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned. Definitely follow. Thanks for watching, and we will be back very shortly. Is it next week? Two weeks? I don't know. We haven't discussed that. And this is brought to you by the Bag of Holding. It holds your stuff. All right.